Minus I know the, from the Philippines that it's religious. Do you have to be religious? The answer is no. Um, you will find some people that want somebody that say true Christian and all this sort of stuff. But at the end of the day, there's plenty of women out there that are quite happy just to marry an average person who's not so devout. Although it's very fine. Sorry, very rare to find somebody that devout anyway. Um, I actually find a lot of the stuff is completely hypocrisy. Um, so, yeah, I um, don't just believe that people need to be religious to get married. They, you will get some people say, oh, you, you know, to get married in the church, you would need to be a Christian or whatever. If you write to the um, bishop, if, Cebu City or whatever, they will often allow you to marry in the church with their blessing as long as you get in touch with them direct and they make it happen. Um, in the same way, you don't even have to marry in the church. You can marry at the courthouse and have a civil wedding. So you don't have to buy into the Christianity thing whatsoever. Um, my, I mean, my personal view on religion is I have no problem with real religion, but often it's a cash cow and a cash generation and manipulation. So I'm not anti-religion, I'm just often anti the way it's used because it's often used in the wrong way. But yeah, and if you're marrying somebody that is very religious and wants you to be a Christian or whatever, you may be better off in another rela um, relationship because if she can't accept you as a person and assumes you're, the religion is more important than you are, then guess what? She can keep the religion and find somebody else. Because there's plenty of women out there that aren't that fussy on it. Because at the end of the day, how much of an impact should that have on your life? Should it be dictating the person that you should be marrying? I don't think so. And I do know that there is some manipulation by the church relating to trying to get people into this sort of stuff as well. Um, but my personal view on it is people should accept you as who you are. You shouldn't have to become something they want to suit them or suit their church because at the end of the day, that church isn't your church. It's not your religion. It's not your belief or anything else that should be dictated to you. Um, a real partner shouldn't even expect that. And that's my view on it. Simple as that. If you're getting forced into this or being blackmailed or being told that the marriage won't happen unless you convert to Christianity, you know what? Goodbye. I'll find somebody else. Simple as that. Thank you for watching.